All right. Well, happy Monday. And here we are again. Thank you guys very much for being on the call this morning. It is a wonderful Monday morning. As long as you are the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles, because those boys are going to the Super Bowl. Um, interesting weekend. So with that, I want to thank everyone for um, being here at Health Plan Markets. As you know, our mission is to improve the lives of our community with affordable health care. Thank you for being a part of that mission. And thank you for helping our seniors and families uh, get out there and, um, you know, help them achieve a better life with great health care. So appreciate that. Um, as we normally do, we have to keep one foot in the classroom and the other one in the field at all times because we have to know what we're doing and there's constantly updates here and want to make sure that you guys stay sharp uh, because you're out there uh, with your weapons of knowledge. So appreciate everyone jumping in training classes. Um, I am going to go ahead and share my screen here. So making sure everyone can see that. And here's the training calendar. Again, if you guys don't have the training calendar, please just shoot us an email at support at askhpm.com and we will get that uh, calendar hooked up for you on any device that you choose. We're happy to do that for you. Um, if you're on your phone, it's really great because you can toggle the calendars on and off. So, you know, if you're worried about it being too much, you can turn it on and off. So if you want to see what what trainings there are today, you can turn the calendar on. Again, we've got uh, resources for you to learn how to do that. It's not as bad as it might seem. So it's really great to be able to access that at any point. All right, um, this morning and every morning, there is a Medicare Shop 2023 uh, video at your disposal. You can jump in there. Uh, we have been talking about making a more in-depth video for Medicare Shop. Um, those of you that are pretty savvy with it, no need to really um, you know, go in there and do this. But if you're not using Medicare Shop or you need a refresher, uh, this is a great resource to get started. We have some other videos I'm gonna share as well. And the concept is pretty much the same year over year. So uh, we'll share some of those resources in a bit. Uh, later today, we've got United Healthcare during virtual office hours. So any questions that you might have with UHC, they're doing that today at four and then again on Friday at th from three to five. So virtual happy hour there, uh, happy hour, office hours uh, from three to five, but it, it, it goes with happy hour. I don't know, maybe you'll be somewhere being happy. So there you go. Uh, tomorrow at nine o'clock, you've got Cigna doing their virtual office Medicare questions. So any questions that you have for, for Cigna specifically, um, they had a really great year for, for open enrollment. So if you didn't really watch what they were doing, um, they are making some moves. So pretty, pretty exciting to see what Cigna's doing there. Uh, you can catch up with them tomorrow at nine o'clock. Moving on to Wednesday, Humana is doing a sales process uh, training at 11. Now I'm going to hang on this one for a minute because we're going to talk about call recording again this morning because there are some serious concerns with call recording. There's rumors, there's all sorts of stuff happening with this. And I want to get set the record straight on what we know so far, but this may be a very important training, even for you veterans to pay attention to because the sales process has changed as of October 1st. And so many of you made it through AEP unscathed and uh, congratulations. And some of you may have started getting compliance requests and these compliance requests are asking for call recordings. So if you're not doing your call recordings, please do because CMS is now requesting these call recordings. This is a serious matter. If you don't have call recordings, they're gonna ask you why you don't have call recordings. So let's hope you have a very good reason. <laughs> All right, um, so on Wednesday, 11 o'clock, you manage doing the sales process training. This is gonna revamp and make sure that you're following compliance, which is very important here, uh, but also making sure that you have a good process when you're talking to your uh, clients or prospective clients when joining a health plan. So 
this is something that you can take you know from humana and apply it pretty much across the board but they are going to be talking about the call recording during the sales process so this might be a really really good one for you guys to pay attention to again that's wednesday the first february 1st at 11 a.m uh on 12 at 12 30 on the first right after that cigna's doing another virtual office medicare questions session uh, and then Humana is doing another session at 2 o'clock. So you can join that Humana training at 11 on Wednesday or 2 p.m. on Wednesday, whichever makes sense for you. Jumping over to Thursday the 2nd, you've got a training. Well, actually, this is a breakfast mixer, so there may not be a lot of training involved there, but definitely some high-level stuff for Cigna. Uh, we have a spelling mis mistake there, but HPM and Cigna is – doing a breakfast mixer that's at nine o'clock on thursday wake up you're hungry come on down and um that's going to be at the ihop on west colonial drive in orlando um so in the general direction of our old office there uh we've got uh, west colonial drive happening there as well um ba, ba, ba. and then thursday at two o'clock we've got devoted doing a coffee and chat session at 1130. This is, you know, answer, uh, question and answer session again. They're there to, to help you. It's it's specific to the Jacksonville market, but, you know, all devoted agents are welcome to join, get your questions answered. All right, that is the training for the week. I hope everyone takes advantage of those trainings, especially that Humana sales process, uh, because we, uh, we are going to be um, jumping in and around there. Um, actually, Cindy says that the Cigna breakfast is canceled. So I just got that note. Thanks, Cindy, for the update. So you can dis disregard that Cigna breakfast there. Probably reschedule that in the future because that one seemed exciting. Uh, all right. Moving on. We do have a YouTube channel. Just want to remind folks that we do have this out there. Um, as you can see, all of the weekly trainings are posted up here. So if you missed one, uh, the, you know, we do add this into the playlist. So if you just prefer to catch up on all the weekly trainings, you can go over to playlist and there should be, you know, a playlist of the weekly training specifically. Um, so you can find that in there. Um, but this is our page here. You can find us at youtube.com slash at health plan markets Orlando. So that's our tag there. Um, we are going to be posting trainings, videos, updates, all that stuff there. So um, if you're familiar with YouTube, all you got to do is subscribe um, and you can do that somewhere on this page. Uh, it's usually right around here once you're logged in. So you just click subscribe and then there's a notification button there if you want to have us notify you when a new video posts. All right, bumping over to uh, I do have a quick announcement before I go through the rest of this. Um, dedicated and Centerwell. Been getting a lot of questions about that. Lots of requests about commissions. Um, they're missing commissions. It's wrong. Um, I haven't got paid. Uh, lots of that going on. So in general, we're talking about Dedicated and, and also ChenMed, wherever you are in the world. Um, they are doing a program. Uh, where if you are sending in a new patient and you set up that appointment for the new patient, once the new patient is enrolled, that they compensate you for that lead. That's what they're calling it is lead generation, and they're compensating you $200, depending on your market, uh, $200 or so uh, to be to, to send in a new patient to dedicate it. Now, there's a process for that. If you're not participating in the program, please send us an email, support at askhpm.com, and we'll get you set up with the program. There are going to be, those of you that have been participating, um, there's going to be a few more changes happening. Um, one of them being that you will have a time, uh, a time period to submit these uh, requests, these new patients, um, because they've been getting a lot of requests for folks that, you know, are sending in business a year ago. Uh, nine months ago, it, they're, they're just not going to do that anymore. So um, I don't know what the new time period is, but uh, we do have a tracking mechanism. If you're not using that tracking mechanism, please let us know so we can get you on there. Uh, it is imperative because many of you are 
wondering where your money's at and we can't help you because we don't know who you sent in. So that's why, you know, we can help you with the tracking. We are responsible to pay those dedicated payments. So we've been back going back and forth and auditing them. Um, but it does take up to 60 days from the effective date, 60 days from the effective date to get you paid. Okay. Now they're a bit, they've been a little bit slow. But that is our goal. That's our ultimate goal is to get you paid within 60 days of the effective date. OK, um, so we are doing some auditing there. If you've done any business for dedicated, um, please make sure that, you know, you're submitting those on the form that that we've created. OK, again, if you don't have that form, just shoot us an email, give us a call, text, whatever is easier for you. And we, we can get it out there to you. Uh, so, again, we're at, we're auditing those. Uh, for dedicated and also for Centerwell. So shifting gears here, Centerwell has opened it up to directly, uh, I guess, contract with them uh, or have an agreement with them to be paid direct by Centerwell. Now that is our preferred method also uh, because look guys, these commissions, we really don't make money from. Um, it's just to cover our admin, which really doesn't do that. So we want to make sure that you get paid directly. Uh, we have no interest in any of that. Um, so, you know, if you're not already set up to to with both of these programs or one of those programs, um, you know, please reach out and we'll connect you. If you know someone at Centerwell, reach out to them to make sure that, that you're connected with their program as well. It works pretty much the same way. I think their compensation is less and it does vary per market um so here in florida i believe it's 150 in other markets it could be less so if you need help connecting we're happy to connect you on that just let us know um and the payment should be coming directly to you as soon as you set up that agreement okay um this goes for centerwell this goes for conviva uh and any of their other centers that they might go as uh, i know they've kind of been consolidating the brands so um, I don't know if some of those other ones are still out there, but those are the two big ones is Conviva and Centerwell. I believe one day they'll all be Centerwell from what I'm seeing, um, but that's just my opinion. So with Centerwell, again, go out there, take the training. If you're already submitting business, thank you. Um, but, you know, go ahead and get set up to be paid direct. That's our preferred goal. So any questions on that? You know how to reach us. We're, we're glad to help you. We want to make sure that you're getting compensated um, because look, guys, a brand new to Medicare enrollment, you know, uh, on average, when you put them into one of these centers and you do your HRA forms, you can earn almost as much as a thousand dollars per new to Medicare. It's insanity. <laughs> it's really, really great how much money is out there for you guys to make a difference and to do what's right and to make a great living. So very excited about that. Um, all right, shifting gears again, as I talked before, we do have our phone number. You can text it. You've got our email, support at askhpm.com, or we've got our chat. So we are there for chat. Uh, remember, we're, we're starting to load our knowledge base here. So if you have questions, you can, these are instant answers. We have that there. Or if you wanna chat with us, we'll have a teammate ready to go online to chat with you, which is a little bit faster than sitting around and waiting for an email. Okay. So uh, that's that on that quick update on Jamaica. So um, we are basically saying pencils down here. If you haven't already uh, requested your, um, your, your package to go to Jamaica, uh, please reach out to Cindy. This is the absolute last week that we are doing this. The absolute deadline, absolute deadline is this Thursday, February 2nd, 1159. That's it at uh, PM. That's it. We're not accepting any more payments. Uh, we are going to be sending payment requests to those that are part of an agency partner. Uh, agency partners, you'll get an invoice from us for any of your team members that are that are planning to go. Um, Cindy's working on that this week, and we must have payment by this Thursday midnight. Okay, uh, this is a no exception because our window has closed to reserve the amount of rooms that we need, 
and we need to ensure that we have all the payment in to health plan markets so we can make that payment on Friday. So uh, we need to collect payment from you on, uh, by Thursday and pay on Friday. Again, I'm gonna be sending out the links to everybody. Please keep an eye on your email. Um, Cindy will also reach out if she, if she hasn't already to you regarding your package. If there's anything owed on your side, um, you know, we'll, we'll take care of you or we'll send out that invoice so you can take care of, of that cost. Okay. Um, those of you that qualified at no cost, that message is not for you. Congratulations. Um, you did a great job this year and, uh, really happy to have you guys, uh, going to Jamaica. Um, I will say that this has been a challenge for us in coordinating, uh, all of this thing. So I, I want to say thank you very much for your patience. I can't thank Cindy enough for her patience because she's the one that's that's running this program. She's done an excellent job. Um, but thank you for your patience. Uh, next year, we've already got plans to simplify this a bit. <laughs> and uh, and then I, obviously we'll do something cool for next year. So I uh, really appreciate everybody's patience on this. Uh, again, we have the contest rules that are here. This is the last announcement that we're doing about Jamaica. Um, so, you know, if you have any questions, you guys know how to reach us. So thanks again. And congratulations to all of you guys that are, that, that made it to Jamaica. We have a lot of folks that made it this year. This will be our biggest trip. Um, we're looking at over 30 people already confirmed. Um, I don't know if that number has gone up, but it is a, a big, big trip. Uh, the biggest one that we've ever done. So, uh, lots of moving wheels. Thank you guys for your patience. Okay. Let's shift gears here. I want to talk about call recording now. Uh, like we had talked about in, earlier in the call, that call recording is still a thing here. And uh, we have noticed a um, very alarming trend in our organization. And that trend is, is that we had uh, purchased and upgraded our enrollment platform with Medicare Shop to include call recordings, but only 3% of the enrollments had call recordings attached to it. Now, as you can see, this is very alarming because we expected a lot more <laughs> because there can't be that many in-person meetings using Medicare Shop. And we understand that Medicare Shop uh, can be used in person and call recording is not required if you're in person. Um, but the rules are the rules, guys. And um, I know that we had uh, we had recommended Ring Central to you. So if you're using Ring Central, great. Continue to use it if that's your preferred method. Just remember that it is also your responsibility to catalog those calls and be able to find the calls and send those calls in when requested. Uh, and then I know some of you that have found other third-party apps and you're doing your call recordings that way. All of that's fine, no problem there. Um, but I also wanted to remind you that we do have the call recordings at least until the end of the year for 2023 enrollments. I don't know if we're going to uh, renew the call recording if you're not using it, okay? Because it is expensive. And if you're using different options for your call recording, then it doesn't make sense for us to, to have that feature on Medicare Shop. So if you have feedback on that, please let me know if if you are using it or you, you didn't know how to use it, then let us know and we're, we're happy to get you trained and up, up to date on that. Um, but with Medicare Shop, it is ultimately important um, that you have a call recorded session somewhere and um, and whether that's stored in Medicare Shop, which should make it pretty easy for you. Um, you know, we prefer to try to make it as easy as possible or if not, you know, wherever you're gonna keep that. So. Um, please make sure that that you're checking in on that. Okay, uh, it's free. You know, it's free for you, not for us. <laughs> but it's a free service that we offer. Um, now, here's here's what I am going to talk about today because this is really important. Um, we're starting to get requests for call recordings. Okay, uh, some of you may have gotten a boo boo. Some of you, uh, a client calls in, and somehow, some way, they open up a complaint. Section A, CTM, whatever you want to call it, a complaint comes in. Whether it's founded or unfounded, the reality is, is they are now asking for every and all calls that you have with that member. Now, 
they are already interviewed your member. Okay, by the time you get the request, they've already taken down the complaint. They've asked the questions. They have a case file that they are going to ask you about. And they're going to say, why did Mrs. Jones call in and complain that she didn't understand it was an HMO? Or why did Mrs. Jones call in oh, and God, God. I didn't know that my prescriptions weren't covered? Okay, whatever that might be, maybe Mrs. Jones wasn't paying attention. Okay, that does happen. Okay, I'm not saying anybody does anything wrong here, but if you get one of those requests, we are now being asked to provide call recordings. Okay, and if you don't have a call recording, they are going to ask you why you don't have a call recording because it is part of compliance. Okay, so with that said, if you need a refresher on call recording and the process and everything that goes along with it, if you go over to joinhpm.com, click webinars, and we have a bunch of webinars on there for anything that you might need. Um, but the third one, um, third one to the right, the far right here, it says Medicare call recording, and you can register for a session there. Click register, and you're in. You can pick a time that works best for you. You'll see that we're going to be doing one later today. You can click register and you can go ahead and get that done okay so select the date and time that you prefer enter your first name last name email and phone number register you guys know how to do all that okay get uh get up to date on your call recordings this is not optional this is mandatory you must have a call recording situation it's very important that you do so OK, um, also, we're going to be talking about Spark, uh, Spark in a moment because they have some features here that that may be coming up uh, that ties into the call recording. But for now, um, I just want to reiterate that this is no joke. CMS is pulling these records. The health plans are pulling these call recordings and they are asking for them. OK, just as anticipated, this is a thing. Now, I want to dispel any rumors out there because there's been rumors that CMS is going to turn it off and it's going to go back to normal. I've heard these rumors too. I don't know if any of it's true or partially true or, or whatnot, but from what I've read officially from CMS, they're actually um, doubling down on this. And what I mean by that is not only are they pushing this to the independent agents, they're now going to possibly require third parties that do lead generation to record calls as well. So the Joe Namath commercials, if you guys remember, that's actually not an insurance agency. It's not a health plan. It's actually a marketing company that sells those leads to call centers. Okay. Um, and so that's what their business is in. And so then they're going to need to record the calls before they pass them over to a, uh, a call center um, and that might actually be shut down too so we don't know how uh, you know CMS is really going after the call centers that's really what this is all about unfortunately we've been we're, we're kind of in the middle of all of this too you know because we're tied to this we produce you know just as many or if not more enrollments as as independent agents than the call centers themselves um, yes they have significant volume um, but they also have significant turnover too, not only from the people that are working there, but from the actual clients. And that's a huge problem for Medicare is, is all of those, those um, wheels that are spinning and no one's sticking to, you know, it's just causing more problems. So with that, you know, we don't want CMS after us as independent agents. Um, and really we are going to be monitoring these call recordings uh, this metric is very important to me. Um, you know, we've gotten, I feel we've, we've done a really, really good job with the, with the amount of volume that, that you all have done for AEP. We've had just a handful of these section A's or CTMs come in through the, through the carriers. I think you all in general have done an excellent job, uh, with everything, but I don't want anyone to be caught flat footed. Uh, because there could be an issue, okay? So that goes for Medicare Advantage, that goes for Medicare Supplements, that goes for prescription drug coverage, that goes to any Medicare beneficiary talking about any Medicare product, okay? 
no shortcuts here, guys. Even if they're calling you about a PDP, it needs to be recorded. Okay, I go through the the, the training there on the um, call recording. In fact, I'll I'll make it even easier for you. I'm going to copy that link in there for you and drop it in. Okay, so there you go. Um, next thing I want to talk about is the Spark platform. Um, we are really really excited about all the new features that they have uh, going on in Spark. Uh, the, the, the main one is, is if you are not yet set up on the CRM system and the member services side of Spark, then you're kind of lucky <laughs> because they just revamped the entire onboarding process. And um, if you recall the folks that, that were that were early adopters, thank you very much. It was a little clunky. You know, you had to sign an agreement and send it back, and then they'd work with you on a few emails. It was a little clunky. Now, all you have to do is send us an email, support at askhpm.com, say, I'd like to sign up for Spark. And then we'll shoot your request over to Spark. They'll send you an email, and it's a link. You, you log in, and you follow the bouncing ball, and it's really so simple. You know, they're, they're going to ask you your name. Uh, it's going to auto-load all your NPNs that we already have on file for you. All that's done, they're going to show you how to load your book of business. All of that is, is now on board, you know, straight through. It's beautifully done. We saw uh, a demo of it last week, and they did a great job with onboarding. So um, like I said before, if you, if you haven't signed up yet, uh, you're kind of lucky because the new onboarding process is super slick, super easy to do, and very excited about that. So uh, again, if you don't yet have our state-of-the-art Medicare CRM system with member services attached, go out there and get it. And remember, member services is basically your virtual assistant to help you with billing issues, client issues, provider issues, whatever it is. We've got a team in a call center waiting for your problems <laughs> and they'll take over, okay? So um, excited for you guys to use that. Um, last thing I wanna talk about this morning very quickly is events. And this is another concern that I have is events. Now, I know some of you are working directly with the carriers or you're doing your own events and they are quote unquote educational or they're generic. And I'm doing air quotes here because I get it. But um, there's one thing that I just wanna make sure that everybody is aware of is that the events need to be reported. Now, we are asking for you to report them to us for two reasons. Number one, if something should happen to you and we don't know about it, we can't help you, okay? If something should happen to you and we don't know about it, we can't help you. And I'm talking about compliance here, okay? So if Humana says, hey, we got a complaint and they met this person at the tabletop and we're like, what tabletop? And they go, I know, <laughs> uh, that's gonna be a problem, okay? So that's that's the first thing. The second thing is, is we will help you get these things filed with the carriers, okay? Now, CMS doesn't require filing with them, but they do ask on random for events, and they're gonna pull an event randomly. Or if they get a complaint from CMS and it says, hey, I met him at the doctor's office, and they're gonna ask for that event information. And if you don't have it, you're, you're you know, up a creek, basically, okay? So we wanna protect you on that. And then the second reason, like I was kind of going after was, we could help you promote this too. I'm sorry, that's the third reason. Third Hello? reason is to, is to help you promote these events too, because we are loading these up into our website. And we wanna ensure that, um, that we can help you promote them on Facebook, Instagram. We've got some stuff going on with, with social media, uh, okay. but we are no. gonna be hosting them on, on our website as well, okay? So, uh, please make sure that you get these events loaded and ready to go. And if you don't have the link, I'm going to go ahead and post it in the chat here. Um, but again, if you need that link to file your events, you can shoot us an email uh, or the chat. We've got, got that hooked up as well. Just make sure that you're doing the right thing, guys. Compliance is serious. CMS is not messing around, and they don't care how big your book of business is. If they don't like you, they can cancel your contract, okay? Just 
saying that. I know it's a little, you know, precarious, but I just want to be honest that compliance is there for a reason. And I don't think any of you are bad eggs, um, but I do want to make sure that you're doing the right thing and you protect yourself out there, okay? Uh, that's it. That's all I've got for today. I really do appreciate everyone's time and attention. If you have any questions, you guys know how to reach us, 844-696-3975. You can text us there. We enjoy text messaging as well. And of course, you can chat with us on joinhpm.com. Again, guys, thank you and have a fantastic week. Don't forget, uh, tomorrow is the end of the month and get those last minute enrollments in and get them set up for February 1st. Have a fantastic day. Happy selling.